Hi guys, Keisha Metcalf here from MVP Realty. Have you ever wondered what is the difference between renting your own house and buying your own house? Well, today we are going to be looking at the costs. What are the differences in cost between buying a house versus renting? You don't want to miss this. Stay ah! tuned. Okay, so let's begin with our mortgage calculator. And we're going to be working with a price of $350,000. Now, let's say we have a down payment of, let's try 3.5%. And the down payment on three fifty at 3.5% would be about 12250 So let's enter that there. Okay, and the loan term is 30 years. Interest rate is about 5.7%. Let's look at the monthly breakdown. Now you can see we have principal and interest, property taxes, homeowners insurance, and there is some private mortgage insurance in there. But for an FHA loan, you will have insurance, but it's not going to be private mortgage insurance. It's going to be uh, insurance by the government. That's about $14 per month. And everything comes out to about $2,000. $270. Now that's about $2,270 for a $350,000 house. Okay, so let's jump over to Zillow and we are going to Lehigh Acres and we're going to be looking at the houses for sale. Now we are going to look at the price range starting ending at $350,000. And as you can see, these are the houses, these are the costs, and you can see 349,000, that's a four bedroom, 249, and all of these, most of these are three bedrooms, and most of them are under 350,000. So you can definitely find a house, a three bedroom, four bedroom for $350,000 in Lehigh Acres. Now let's go up and we are going to look at the rent, how much it would cost for us to rent a three bedroom house in Lehigh Acres. All right, let's select our three bedroom house. All right, here we are. Uh, okay, so it's saying one result. So we did something wrong. Let's go back. Oh, here it is. Uh, we're going to change that price range and we're going to leave that open. All right, good. So here we have 145 results. And if you're looking, look at the monthly rates here. 2,195, 2,370, 2,570, 2,350, 2,585. And you are seeing that a lot of these monthly costs are actually more than the the um, 2170 that we saw if we were to pay more. Okay, so let's jump over to Cape Coral and let's put in the same cost, 350,000. We're going to see if we can actually get a, a three bedroom house for 350,000 in Cape Coral. Yes, the, that's 350, 305, 349, 9, 339, 335. And those are three bedrooms, two bathrooms, most of them. You have four bedrooms. You're going to have a lot. Yeah, a lot of houses. Now, look, let's look at the rent. If we are going to rent a three bedroom or four bedroom house in Cape Coral, we have 434 results. Now, let's take a look. We're going to actually put in the exact three bedrooms that we're looking for. And we're going to make sure that that is a single family house. And these are the results. Look at, I want you to focus on the monthly cost. 2,290, 2,470, 2,995, 2,445. And most of these, you're seeing 3,025. Those are way above the 2,270 that we established when we looked at the mortgage cost. And the mortgage costs that we established included everything. So it included an insurance, property taxes, everything was included. All right, so let's jump over to Fort Myers and we're going to do the same thing. 
350,000 we're looking at the price for sale houses at under 350,000 and we are seeing quite a bit we have mostly again we're going to see some three bedrooms two bathroom homes in there so you can definitely get a three bedroom two bathroom house for sale in Fort Myers for $350,000. See guys and um yes, most of these are three bedrooms, two bathrooms. All right. Okay. So, now let's go ahead and look at the rent. If we were to rent a three bedroom house in Fort Myers, let's take that out. We don't want to put a limit on that. We just want to make sure it's a three bedroom house so let's put that in and let's make sure it's a single family house here we go and look at the monthly costs guys most of them are going to be over the 2270 that you would pay for mortgage okay guys so there you have it now you'll notice that we did lehigh acres we did cape coral and we did Fort Myers and in all three cases, the mortgage was less in most cases than the rent. So what does that tell you? It means that if you're a renter and you are really contemplating whether or not you should buy your own house, consider the fact that it is costing more to rent a three bedroom house in Southwest Florida right now than it is to actually buy your own house and pay mortgage. It is costing more on a monthly basis. So consider that. And if you consider that and you really want to take that next step, you want to buy your own house because paying rent just does not make any sense, then please reach out to me. I am here. I'm available. I can answer all your questions. I can get you pre-approved right away for that mortgage and get you closer to becoming a homeowner. So guys, I am Keisha Metcalf again from MVP Realty and Pacific Wholesale Mortgage. And I will see you again next week. Stay tuned.